This past November, the Northeastern men's hockey team traveled to Belfast, Northern Ireland to compete in the Friendship Four tournament for the second time in program history. While the team was focused on what they needed to accomplish on the ice, the trip was also an opportunity to experience a foreign country with a deep history and culture. The Friendship Four tournament started on the back of a sister city relationship that was agreed between Boston and Belfast and people got in the room together and uh, were thinking of things that they could do to help solidify that relationship and to have uh, both Colgate and Northeastern come back to Belfast for the second time, you know, it, it's just a testament to, you know, how the tournament has grown over the five years and, and to how their experience was the first time that they wanted to come back again. We were fortunate to be on the first wave of that back in 2015. And then it's, for the most part, cycled through all the teams that had an opportunity to go. And the people there are so wonderful that I want to have that experience for our current student athletes. Everything was different, the driving, when you got there, signs, they were in English, but they were still a little different. There was different symbols. We got to see Dublin and Belfast. Coach was saying how we got good tours and we got to see like the Guinness factory and where the Titanic was. And we weren't just focused on hockey. We were able to go out and see what makes Belfast Belfast and what the people here enjoy doing. And so um, I was really fortunate and happy uh, to go to Ireland. We were on like a, a nice tight schedule. We practiced in the morning, so we'd be done with that around one o'clock. The spacing of it and the time management made it easy for the players to like not feel like rushed or tired or not into something. And we were still back home by no later than 7, 8.30 to get to bed. Players come over, they're keen to see some of the sites that uh, they filmed Game of Thrones on. Uh, um, there's a lot of history in Northern Ireland. The Titanic was built here, which a lot of people don't know. For Belfast, for Northern Ireland as a country, just trying to help reinvent itself and, and, and reintroduce itself to uh, the world. I'm kind of a history guy, so I would say the, my favorite part was the tour around the, the city of Belfast, being able to kind of see the different parts of the city and the history behind it and the Peace Wall and the City Hall, a lot of things like that. The trip to Winterfell was really cool too. I'm not a Game of Thrones person, I've never seen it, so I think if I watched that show, that'd be pretty cool. The uh, local schools came out and uh, did a Learn to Skate with us, which was really fun. A lot of the kids, it was their first time ever on, on skates and never even really knowing about hockey, so it was really fun to be able to kind of, you know, share that with them and being able to watch them, you know, skate around fall and get up and try again was really fun. Probably a hundred and so young kids, ages probably from nine to 12 on the ice with us. And our guys were tremendous and awesome with the elementary students from Belfast. And some of them didn't know how to skate and we were helping them skate and interacting with them. After spending much of the week exploring Belfast and soaking in the atmosphere of the tournament, it was finally time to play some hockey. The Huskies easily defeated UNH 4-0 in their semi-final matchup with the Wildcats before pulling out a 4-3 victory over Colgate in the championship game en route to their first Bell Pot championship. The game day experience was, was pretty similar to what I'm used to here, playing on a bigger rink with a lot of fans and a lot of screaming kids the first uh, night and the second night was, was really fun, being able to play for a championship and playing in front of a, a big crowd like that. The first game against UNH, uh, we had a really good 60-minute effort. You know, we executed our game plan and played to our identity pretty well and ended up, uh, you know, getting a big win there. Power play is over. Madden with the shot, scores! In the championship game against Colgate, we got out to an early 3-0 lead. It was a great start. The energy in the arena, it felt like a hockey East uh, bean pot. You could just feel that tournament uh, atmosphere, that you were just playing for something between the two teams. It wasn't just a regular non-conference game. We kind of sat on that 3-0 lead for a little bit. They made it pretty close. We just held on, did the right things. We would just eventually uh, be victorious, and the time felt like an eternity. Uh, luckily, we finished 2-0 with the bell pot, and uh, we got a really good experience after the game. You know, as a freshman, not having won any championships here at Northeastern, it was really cool to get kind of get your first one under the belt, and hopefully many more to come, so. And that'll do it. The Northeastern Huskies are the 2019 champions of the Bell Pot. You know, the significance is that we just, we won a two game tournament and you're gonna have to play two game tournaments coming up in our schedule. We're gonna have a, another two game tournament that comes up in the first two Mondays of February called the Bean Pot, you know, that I think we're all familiar with. So this just gives us a little bit of a precursor and experience of what you have to go through and how you have to prepare because you have to win the first night to give yourself a chance, you know, to win the second night and, and win the series or win the tournament. It's a unique tournament traveling overseas, coming internationally to play as a team. And we hope that 
you know, for the, the week or so that they are in Northern Ireland, that they get a chance to, to bond as a team, figure things out, and, and not only for the rest of the season, but some of those players will be playing together for the next three or four years together. So we hope that um, um, the experience of coming here makes them a stronger team uh, in years going forward. With their success in Belfast, the team hopes to continue reaping the rewards of the experience as they aim to defend their Beanpot and Hockey East titles in 2020.